So what is going on YouTube? My name is Meho and welcome to your 26th Angular 6 tutorial in which we're going to take a look at how to make a text field editable on the front end on Angular and reflect changes in Mongo on submission. So let's get started. Okay, so in this video, we're going to see how the user can actually update the code assigned to it with the help of a simple interface we're going to expose through angular so first of all for that inside our code uh, what we're going to do is inside our dashboard components uh, html file we're going to say um, something like input type text value i'm just gonna echo this out um, an id of my code something like this we can just wrap it in div id controls something like that and right here we can say something like input type button value update code and on clicking i just want to update code with the event being passed just like that all right now inside our dashboard component what i'm going to do is write update code with the event coming in i'm going to get the value first as event dot target dot parent node dot query selector and then i'm going to go with my code dot value i believe this is correct if we take a look event dot target gives us this parent node gives us this and query selector my code would give us this all right after this let's just say uh, we have this dot user dot update code let's just create this method real quick dot subscribe 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 data i'm going to say if data dot success is true alert your code was updated otherwise alert some problem all right uh, let's just create this method real quick in our user service i'm going to say update code gets us a value and we're going to say return this dot http dot post i'm going to say this is a code status something like this this would be api code and then we're going to pass in a value right so i'm just going to pass in a value like this let's just create this code status here interface code status gives us a status data dot success right so this should be success here and data dot uh, success here yep so there we are simple enough and on the back end part what we're going to do is uh, actually this is becoming really messy so we're going to pretty soon clear this mess api slash code gives us request response which should be an async but for now let's just console log uh, request dot session dot user and request dot body dot value to just see what we are getting right and what we can do is just go to here login mehul h at the rate one dot com one two three one two three four five hit submit and what we have here some sort of error if we take a look okay looks like we are not running the server so let's just start node mon index.js like that yep so now let's just try one more time hit submit you can see we are successfully logged in now if i remove the success here and update the code uh, this request is sent we do not get a response as expected but inside our terminal we get the email id of the user signed in and the 
updated code so let's just update this in our database as well so what i'm gonna say is user dot uh, find one and what we have is um, email as request dot session dot user so first of all we can just say or we can just say user as await user dot find one if there's no user response dot json uh we can just say success false message invalid user and return otherwise what i want to do is user dot update email should be again request dot session dot user and what i want to do is actually just update the code so i just want to set the code to be value which we have with request dot body dot value right and uh, let me just take a look real quick if that is actually the case code is yep so once that is done what i want to do is just await this and response dot json uh, success is true and that is it pretty much so let's just go back here clear the cookies because the server has been restarting so many times we are redirected to login mehul1 at the rate mehul h at the rate 1.com one two three four five hit submit i remove the success i update the code i get your code was updated fair enough i reload this page and you can see that our code is updated so this is basically how you would expose something some sort of interface to update user details to let users update their own details on your angular front end with mongo and node and similarly you can create a similar interface for updating passwords and you know you can do pretty much everything now you can create a user profile page and you know imagination is your limit so that's all pretty much for this tutorial and i'll see you then in the next one and one more thing if you like this video then don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon to receive instant notifications